Hey guys, what's up? Tough Thumbs here. Just gonna make this quick because I got a lot of work to do. Um, sorry about not making a video. Uh, first up, I got my sheaths from Gavco. Uh, this is for my BK2. Unfortunately, I have no scales. And you can see how well this sheath holds without scales. So, this thing just keeps rusting on me. I don't know. Even with lubricant and everything. But uh, you see the really nice brown sheath uh, with the nice uh, beveling around all the edges. And uh, for the fire starter kit right here, it doubles as a drainage hole. Beautiful sheet. And also I did this this uh, little uh, little bird, which has really good, listen to this, awesome. Just a little snap there and it's really secure. It's all nice and beveled around all the edges. Guys, definitely go for Gavco when it comes to sheaths. He's, he's amazing. And uh, all the other stuff he offers and you know, I had that little uh, Widgie Deshi, but my girlfriend actually has it on her right now, so I can't show it, but the thing's awesome. But uh, you guys, definitely go for Gavco, for sure. Also, I want to show you guys a new material I'm going to be working with. It's called Silver Twill. It's a G10 with woven aluminum, and it's a lot lighter than uh, the carbon fiber. But uh, you can see the price of this one sheet. So, uh, you know, you're going to want to uh, think about that, uh, factor that in, because it's going to a little bit more money to, to do uh, scales with this stuff. But, yeah, I should be doing some knives this week for my buddy in Australia. Um, and uh, it's going to be sweet. Can't wait to work with it. So, on to some pimpage today. Uh, right now, you know, I'm just going to speed through these guys. And I'm sorry about that, but... I got a Spyderco UKPK uh, done in the blue ice jade. Um, it's got a little mosaic pin here uh, to hold the construction together. Uh, it's something I had to factor in. I wasn't aware of really of how these things were made, but it worked out pretty cool. So that looks sexy in my opinion. I'm going to take you guys out to the big project. Uh, this one is taking me a while. Sorry, I just dropped that camera there. I'm going to get pretty busy. Um, this is quite a project for me. Uh, this is what it originally looked like. Uh, this is the second one I'm doing. Say hi, zombie. Say hi. No, you don't care? busy sleeping. Alright, so we got this like Rambo-ish looking thing. Uh, it's kind of like a replica Rambo knife or whatever you call it, but you see how thick that is. And uh, this is sort of a project for me. Definitely something new. Because uh, I did a lot of customization for the other one so far. So, here it is right here. This is, uh, I'm going to get some sun down here. got the ice jade. Uh, there's some blue liners in there too. Uh, some nice stainless pins. Uh, nice big hole there at the top to uh, thread through to the bottom for uh, leverage. Uh, you got the first time Tough Thumbs or Tough Knives logo. Pretty rough but it, it looks kind of cool. And uh, you can see next to each other here the reprofiling. Uh, steel is not easy to work with. It's very difficult but uh, you can see the Blade has been thinned down, brought down that pirate edge there in the top. Uh, it's convexed, very sharp. Well, not very sharp, but as sharp as you can get it. Um, with a nice patina on here. I mean, it's a rough piece of steel. It's very uneven, so it's not easy to get a nice, uh, perfect grind on it. Uh, but the edge is nice and perfect, so. But, uh, let me just move this real quick. So you can see. Yeah, you know, we changed. I changed the choil, 
nice and smooth for uh, finer cutting tasks. A little bit of jimping on the back there, but uh, you can get a pretty good, pretty good heft in there. Very heavy. So you can see how far that end went in with one whack, one hand, not really aiming too well. It's a cool blade, for sure. Get some uh, sexy shots here. Now most of the spine of the blade is nice and rounded. Not too much, but enough to where it's not so jagged. Very comfortable now, I think. But I did this on my new grinder. Um, just practicing. But the shadows just suck here. It looks cool. It's a neat blade. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I got another video for you here today. So stay tuned. Later.